And I'll browse, I know that I've uh, fallen behind in my other reading projects, but it doesn't stop me from starting a new one. What makes a teenager say, sometimes I feel like a blob by Eliz Ethel Bar Elizabeth Barry Browning? Yeah, sometimes I feel like a blob. This was one comment that turned up on a confidential questionnaire. A teenager wrote it, and he went on to say, I don't know who or what I am or what I am here for. I can't seem to get identified. The greatest problem of a young person is to find the answers to these questions. In this book, the author discusses these questions and wisely deals with many of the problems commonly faced by young people today. And though she does not claim to have all the answers, she insists in a highly practical and extremely palatable way that God does. Sometimes I feel like a blob by Ethel Barrett. Regal Books, a division of GL Publications, Glendale, California. This is a 1968 book or printing of a 1968, 50, 1966 book to Marianne McBain Barrett. Very short chapters. Who am I? Who are you indeed? Who are you that God should be interested in you? Well, it is something to consider. From the pen of the great historian Herodotus comes the strange life. Uh, I can't read, bruv. Comes the strange tale of a king. As strange and interesting as this tale is, it would not concern us, except that it pictures the probable boyhood of a man who later appears in the Old Testament and who is very important in God's plans because he, well, any probable boy of a man who later got to be in the Bible is important. But the point is, before he got to be in the Bible, who was he? Well, he was a prince, according to history, and his uncle wanted him killed, and he ordered him to be taken up to the mountainside to be devoured by wild animals, his necklace to be brought back as proof that he was dead. But his uncle's general took compassion on him at the last moment and switched him with the dead baby of a goatherd and brought back the necklace of the prince along with the dead body of the goatherd's baby. And well, you can see that it was all quite complicated. The king was fooled into thinking that Cyrus was dead. But according to secular history, Cyrus was not dead at all and later went back to live in his uncle's court under circumstances too complicated to relate here. And he later got to make history, for he was the king who passed the hat for the Jews to go back and build up the temple. But the real point of the story is that after Cyrus got to be in the Bible, it turned out that the Lord had known him all along. I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Or as Jack Van Impey would say, Israel. He knows you. He can call you by name. Can you put your faith in a greater power, bruv? I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Israel. All right. There's your chapter one. Do you feel satisfied, bruv? Sometimes I feel like a blob. This is one kind of man. In this book, the author discusses these questions and wisely deals with many of the problems. On radio and tele TV, on the platform and her story records and her writing. Elizabeth Barrett has been talking most of her adult life. She is nationally known as a speaker at executive dinner clubs and as a conference speaker. But some of her most enthusiastic audiences are college and high school students. If you enjoyed storytelling, it's easy. You will enjoy this book no matter what your age. It is written in the same effortless, easy to read style. I did note that there is a website devoted to some of her actual speeches. So I've never read the book, don't know anything about her, but here I am. Here I am, bruv. Little blob. <laughs>